Hi guys, today we are going to learn about uh, when, and, uh, when and where we should be using mutable state list of uh, in Jetpack Compose. So first uh, we are going to see uh, like where, uh, how and where we can use it. Basically we use mutable list, so mutable state list of to update the list uh, data in the list whenever we are having the list in uh, our view model and uh, somewhere else and we want to do the decomposition uh, using when we are observing a state then we use mutable state list of so first of all let's start i will give you an example like uh, when this when we feel the need to use a mutable state list of so let's start <clears throat> so here we have a uh, view model class i am going to make a view model so first of all in view model we just need to extend it with view model and in view model i'm going to have a private well and this list of elements right so i am taking it as a mutable state and in this i am taking it as a mutable list i am taking it as a list of integers and this should be equals to mutable state of mutable list of so here we have just taken the list uh, in uh, in a state pattern and we are observing this state we are going to observe this state and now let's have a element which we are going to listen and that will be list of elements okay and it will also be a state state and it's also a list of t and it will be we are going to use this so here we have taken a list in a state and we a mutable state and we are going to observe this in our composition so now i'm going to create a function add element here and in add element let's have a random element and we will make it like random dot next element x int and here we can define from 100 so until i am defining it at like this and here we can list of element dot value dot add random element yeah so here we have taken a list and uh, now we have uh, created a function in our view model to add that uh, random integer in our list so in main activity let's try uh, um, having a button and uh, calling these functions so for uh, first of all let's access the our view model so main view model view model will be equals to view model here now in this this way we can access the view model in compose so basically uh, to show this example i am just uh, using the empty compose activity and uh, i am we are having a component activity simple my application theme surface and this is the greeting function i am using this and you can also just simply create your empty project from new project and selecting the empty compose activity and you will get this setup and for adding the view model i have i just added a dependency extra this is lifecycle view model dependency for compose so let's get start again and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and i'm going to access the list which we have in our view model so that's list of int we will use by by main view model dot list of element so we will get the whole list which we defined in our view model 
okay so in compose and in this function we have taken a column uh, with the max size and arrangement dot center so here i'm going to define a button with the button on click which we should be doing on click on click of this button i'm going to call main view model dot add element right and then i'm going to take the shape I am taking a rectangular shape, rounded corner shape I will take with 10.dp and uh, I will also try to give it a modifier, modifier dot uh, padding of 30.dp and dot fill max width so that button will fill the max width. and uh on the button let's give it a text and i will call it click to add right and yeah now after button uh, we will use the lazy column as you know we use the lazy column to show the list in jetpack compose and you can also uh, if you don't know about it you can go and check our other video over the how to create the list in jetpack compose using the same like recycler view you can you see the other video and for the items we i'm going to use the data right data dot size and here let's make the um the item of the list text i'm going to take text will be equals to number and number equals to i am taking here dollar and what we let's give it a name an item like this sorry not here we have to take it to here item and you click then we can access it here so it will give me the item which we have defined and here in text uh, let me give it a font size font size like i will try the material theme dot typography dot heading i'm going to take the heading two you can take any i'm just taking as example and font weight will be font weight dot semi bold right so let's try and do one thing and let's check i'm going to do uh, one thing in main view model and uh, this here i'm going to see if that is adding the element in the list or not so we are going to print the size of the what we will do print now we will use log dot e and we will do size of list and that will be underscore list of element dot value dot size and this should be in, and this should be a string and let's put dollar sign take this in this brackets okay so now let's run this and let's check if it is working so and the here I'm going to show you like uh, when I should be clicking on the add click button click to add button and the item should be uh, getting added to the list and this should be reflecting on our uh, this lazy column the list we have just defined and like our compose should be observing the state here let's run it it's taking some time and yeah here you will see so we had the button and let's clicking the button 
okay you will see when i'm clicking the button the size of my list is increasing here you can see size of the list is five now but we are not able to see the list that is because the decomposition of list uh, mutable list does not work this way uh, we can't just take the state and start observing it it, uh, it will not work for this we have to use the mutable state list so now let's go again to the view model and here what we need to do we need to update it with the we will have the list of element and the mutable state let me just comment it out and sorry now just comment let me first copy it and when okay let's just paste it here okay now let me try this and this is list of element and we need to take the mutable list we will take it like this mutable list and here rather than taking all this what we will do mutable state list of and list of element will be a normal list we don't need to take it in a state and it will be like list of elements and to adding the element same we will do what we will do list of element dot add and here we can directly see the size and just we need to take the mutable state list of on in, in main activity here what we need to update is we can't just give it a reference now we need to give it like this that list by main view model than this we need to take it like this and yeah that's it now we have to re run again it so when we take the mutable state list and we when we want to just recommence to see the and observe the list changes using this uh, come in compose using mutable state list we just need we don't need to do anything more than this we can just start clicking and, and it will just start listening the whatever changes we are making in the list and it, our composition will decompose and it will observe the changes in the list so here you can see we can add any much if you want and we will listen to the changes here we can add any number of we want and it will keep on observing according to the side changes so guys this is how we should be using the mutable state list of rather than uh, just using the state observer with the list you can use the mutable state list of and you will uh, see the, like whenever if you are using a sealed class and you are using uh, you are listening to the state observables you should be using mutable state list of rather than just having a state list so this is all up for today guys uh, i hope you liked it hope you can you will be understanding how we should be using mutable state list of in compose and do let me know if you want me to make videos on some specific topic that's it for today guys cheers bye